Hello and welcome to a new Sprue Camp tutorial brought to you by Tormac. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing how to set up Sprue Camp to use multiple work offsets. So what we're going to be doing is setting a different work offset for each one of these rings. This is 54 and we'll go 55 through 59. The reason you would do something like this is if these are your individual parts and you wanted to accurately make sure that you could drill these holes around each one of these parts, you would set a new work offset coordinates for each center circle and then it would find the, uh, the drilled circles, the drilled holes uh, with greater accuracy. Uh, as you can see, I've already set up this particular uh, ring with a drill a whole machining operation. So we can simulate that real quick. All right. And now the next step we need to do is I created these um, these models by just importing this first model and then in the model tab I used transform to move them and make copies. I made five copies. Um, when you do make copies of an imported model, well, the copies are not sewed when they come in. So you need to highlight each one of the copies and then click Sew Faces. That will allow you to be able to pull on an edge um, or a different feature of the uh, model. So now we've sewed the faces, we're going to go back into the machining tab. And the first thing we'll do now is set a different coordinate system, or CS, for each one of these. So we're going to click on the inner circle, that interface, and we're going to go up to this icon, this little arrow, and click on Creation of CS by Starting Point. So we'll do that there. That's CS1 now. We're going to click on that circle, and then make CS2. CS3, CS4, and CS5. So we have each one of those now with its own coordinate system established. Now what we're going to do is copy and paste this whole machining routine five more times. So we'll click it, copy, paste, 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 paste and paste. So we have six total operations. So we'll go to our whole machining two operation. We'll look into our job assignment. We need to clear out the job assignment box because we want these faces now. So I'm going to zoom in on there a little bit. Holding the control button down, we're going to pick one half of each one of the drilled hole faces and click center. Okay, and now we are going to go to our setup icon. And right here where it says Workpiece CS, we're going to highlight that, click the three dots. We're going to pick the one that's established for this circle, which is CS1. And we're going to give it a local C coordinate system number of G55. Click OK. Now we'll click Reset and Run. Now you should be able to see it's going to drill those holes and go right over to that one. All right, so we're going to repeat this process for each one of these other circles. So click on Home Machining 3, clear out the job assignment, go through, pick one side of all the drilled holes, click center, go to setup, click the three dots, we're going to pick CS2, and give it G56. Go to home machining four, clear out the job assignment box, pick 
one half of each one of these holes click center click the three dots call this CS4 well the CS1 is 55 56 we'll call it CS3 57 and we will do the other two the exact same way all right now we have set up each one of these circles with its own coordinate system so we'll go up to the Tormach we'll reset them all we'll run them and then we'll go into the simulator we'll slow it down a little bit click play and you see it it will drill then jump over to the next and you see the coordinate system highlight drill jump over to the next 56 57 58 and 59 alright so we've got that complete now what we're going to do is post it with the new uh, PCNC master post so we'll go to our post processor we're going to pick on our CNC PCNC master post rev 1.1 click run I have done this before so I'll have to overwrite it and on the new post processor it allows us to flip the fourth asset axis project the default is no so we'll just go ahead and click OK because we don't want to and now you can see at the beginning of each one of these operations there's a G54 printed second one is a G55 56 57 58 and 59 and those are going to uh, change the offset in your program just as long as you set it up correctly in your controller then you'll be able to place those parts wherever you need them and the holes will get drilled properly oh. so this has been um, a tutorial video on multiple work offsets I hope you enjoyed it thanks <laughs> Thank you.